this PC is, this nigga not really showing y'all. This PC is real life clean. I don't want to touch it with my hands. I want the marks on there, but this bitch is real life clean. I wish you could see it for real. I like my not. No, nah, you ain't got to. I don't want you twist to break your shit. But, bro, this shit is. Man, this shit is real life cold. It ain't got no dust on it. Well, he just opened it, but you better be. Well, you better not let this shit collect dust, nigga. Wipe yeah, this man. shit off. I'm about, to, I'm about to order a dust uh, a dust gun, whatever that shit is. Don't have to them dust rags. I, I know I got two of them. A dust vacuum, something like that. Jeez. I got one. I got one of them up there. This nigga ain't really showing y'all what his setup look like. His setup is cold, nigga. Nigga, okay, hold on. They about to get mad as fuck, cuz I got my green stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he got the weed stuff. Oh, he got the weed stuff. <laughs> Damn, that nigga got the weed stuff. Damn, that nigga got the weed stuff. Big bro, big bro literally just got his his uh his little thing, his channel analytics analytics up. And he got his edit. I ain't gonna show you his edit. I almost put in no videos that's coming out. But he got bro, this shit right here is tough, my nigga. Look, nigga, in the last 48 hours, this nigga got 400 views. That's crazy because the last 48 hours I had like 118. Look, bro. That nigga damn, bro. He about to hit like 600 next week. He about to hit six on the next week. That's gonna be crazy. If I actually, that would be crazy, bro. He gonna hit six on the next week for sure. You feel me? Big bro got the eats. He got the, I don't know what this is. He got some wings. He got some fries for me, though. You know what I mean? dry ass fries. I'm probably dry as fuck. Tough! For you. The ranch right there. Can't good, man. I'm gonna eat, see, hold on, man. I got the best fries in the nation, man. They don't fry giant They soggy, they soggy as hell. But these bitches right here, nigga, you just- With ranch, with ranch, nigga, them fries. ranch, is they're in, they're literally like, you can't beat the combo. I got Taco Bell, nigga. And look, I got a Diet Coke. And yes, I said diet. You need it! Yeah. You need it! <laughs> I'm gonna pull that clip up. <laughs> I'm gonna pull that clip up. I'm gonna have to pull that pull, clip pull up. Yeah, put that bitch up, man. I got you, guys. Alright. The angle match. This nigga, the angle dog. Angle. Damn. That nigga's the king of moot bangs, kids. He only did like four moot bangs in his whole career. He's still the king. Damn. I got this. I got this. I got this. I've been looking at my bed that shit because I got crumbs on it. About to break a green screen? <laughs> Damn, is that shit gonna fight the fit behind us? Yeah. Alright, bet. Hell yeah, nigga. Told you, that nigga got cookie crumbs on there, Steve. Mm -hmm. This shit cold. Look how cold it is. Cold. 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 Instantly. Now this shit like a professional shit. Damn, because I can't even fit in this bitch. This again? Come on, man. Really straight. Alright, there we go. Oh, okay. Look how clean, bro. I'm telling you, just the green screen right there. That should make the whole. This is going to make the video so this much cleaner. Tell, nigga. I got some Taco Bell, nigga. Oh, Taco Lettuce. Oh, let's get the thumbnail real quick. Nigga, see this? They're going to start hating. Like, what is this nigga? Chalupas, kid. The chalupas is dangerous, bro. Bro, this, this, y'all niggas don't understand. This bread right here, bro. This bread is so fucking good, my nigga. Oh my God. That bread. Is so you said you got the beef chalupa? Yeah, I don't, I don't eat, I don't eat no meat for fast food no more. Like, like shit, like we stop, I do, but like shit, like fast food, fast food, nah, hell no. It's insane. I don't eat that shit. I don't know what that shit is. No, I can't throw shit. I still be going on crazy on my Wendy's burgers because I love them bitches. Hey, it's no wrong with a nigga as long as you stay on that diet, though. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mm -hmm. That's the whole concept. Nigga. You can eat whatever you want when you work hard, nigga. And nigga Stephens Cole still eat, make chicken. Nah, he eat uh, quarter pounder uh, patties. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is what he used to. I ain't got no special baby. I ain't got no Diet Cokes or anything. I got some water. You know what I'm saying? Crack a death. You heard that crack, bro. Niggas got to hear that crack. <laughs> that nigga's fact, bro. This, 
her. Shut uh, up. I gotta show you what I got, cuz. Shadow needs what you got. Listen. It's the best combo of history of Wingstop. You eating Wingstop and you're not getting a combo, you can do you're doing it wrong. You're gonna, you're gonna get the you're gonna get the 10 piece wing combo, right? Then you're gonna like, get five of the boneless. The new habanero, what, what is it? the honey hot, the honey hot, the honey, honey hot. hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Five of the traditional lemon pepper shares. You're not going wrong, nigga. Ranch. We not eating blue cheese. No blue cheese. Ranch. What are you talking about? Well, I like blue cheese. No blue cheese. Me no ranch. Me no blue then, cheese. Get fries. Whatever fries. Whatever season you want, don't matter. Just get the fries. They good as hell. We're all just gonna just put them bitches in the in a in a ranch. You straight. Bro, no fries be busting. The fries at the ranch, kid. So y'all go to Taco Bell, right? Y'all get the bean chalupa, my nigga. Get the hot. Don't get nothing else. No matter. Don't fuck about right here. Is it is an ultimate like quick meal if you're on a diet? You on a diet? Look, put the sauce on there. You gotta see the sauce. You see the sauce? Once you see the sauce, then you gotta take a bite. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> you funny, man. <laughs> you gotta hear that crunch. You don't hear that crunch, man. Do that shit right. What's crazy is niggas don't even know we working as we enjoying this good ass meal right now. Niggas whole video edited down right now, niggas. Got like, I made the thumbnail right now. This nigga working right now, cause he literally making a whole video just eating, cuz. <laughs> what is y'all doing? Y'all doing this shit wrong, but y'all tweaking, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm, tweaking, bro. Have a good time while making mirrors. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This shit good. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, this beach looper, cause it's fuzzy. <laughs> My whole concept here, bro. Why only make two videos when you can make five videos in two days? That's literally what I just did. I made five videos in two days. How, how, how do you do it? I don't know, nigga. I just do shit. God! I'm an outgoing person. When you outgoing, nigga, you gonna make that opportunity if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, this nigga was sitting here editing. I was like, hey, bro, I'm gonna pull up on you. I'm down the street. He said, all right, cool. I came down here. I ain't gonna this nigga order wing stop or anything. I said, fuck, let me go get some, let me get me something to eat. Stop that Taco Bell. And that's some eat. You know, he just came down here. Chef the camera made a boot bang. Mutt bang, boot bang, whatever you call it. Like, you gotta, you gotta make them opportunities sometimes, bro. You gotta take that extra step, that extra mile. Bro, whatever, whatever that like, you do in life, bro, it's always going. You got good energy. Everything is always going to come together for you, bro. Like I said, he didn't even know that I was ordered me something last year. Then he just started up just getting recorded. I might be. But like, what he just said, bro. Same shit. Same shit with me, bro. The video that I just got done editing, I didn't even have to thumbnail for it again. I literally had to like, literally, I was like thinking like, how the hell am I gonna tell me? I'm just stressing, I'm recording this whole video. I'm just here for two hours straight, recording this video, recording this gameplay. I'm like, I ain't got no thumbnail, I ain't got no title. <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna do, right? Boom, I get to the end of the fucking, I get to the end of the shit. Uh, a boss, uh, uh, oh, I can't. <laughs> just third in like crazy. My gosh, I like a Mexican. I get to the end of the end of the recording. I'm like almost like 10 minutes down the recording, whatever. A big ass boss come. This fat ass nigga with a chainsaw. I'm like, that's my thumbnail right there. That's my title right, right there. there. Nigga, it just it just it just happens, bro. You know what I'm saying? Naturally, bro. You can't script everything, bro. You literally Damn. like you could sometimes you gotta let shit flow. That's what I do normally. I don't try to force anything or anything that's not there. Yeah. I feel a lot of people that do it. That's their personal preference. Me, I like having fun, bro. A lot of times I just be overthinking shit too, bro. I be overthinking shit when I'm. But really, all I gotta do is just hit that. Uh, literally, all I gotta do is hit the intro. Uh, see, hit the intro button. Record. All I gotta do is hit the record button mm -hmm. and just say my intro in it. it literally, everything will just do the rest for me, bro. You don't even gotta overthink shit like, oh, what I'm gonna say, what I'm gonna do. do, do. Fact, you just hit the record button, say the intro. Everything else gonna happen. Then. Not fall in place. Mm -hmm. I said, bro, for greatness, it has to be hateness. You know what I'm saying? So 
So, you great. I'm saying you're going to be hated, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be hated like a motherfucker. You great. People are always going to have something to say, bro. Oh, yeah, man. That shit never going to fail. He's always going to have something to say. You, bro, they don't want to see you happy, bro, because they feel like he can't be happy because I'm not happy. That's how people, bro, it, it, it's, it's fucked up, but that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? He can't go do what he want to do because I can't do, go do what I want to do. They keep trying to break you down to their vibration, bro. Just elevate out this world, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be at the same spot you love them at. Leave them there. When you come back, they're going to be still doing the same thing. Leave them there, bro. I'm telling you, leave them there. You got something great going on for yourself, bro. Don't stop because somebody said this about you. Or they feel like you should do this instead of that. But how they know what's best for you if they're not in your position? You know what I'm saying? So you got to look at that in that perspective, bro. Like, this chick really telling you, like, oh, you should really don't go to the gym and eat McDonald's all day. How she know what's best for your position if she not in your shoes? She don't, bro, she don't have to pursue nobody. Everybody going to pursue her. But everybody not going to come pursue you. You will, you will do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, you can't let nobody make those decisions that's not in your shoes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's be 100. Bro, you already got a fat ass disadvantage in this world. Mm-hmm. You know, man. Yeah. It's hard, bro. Mm. They have it hard, too. But I'm just saying, it's hard as a male, though. Like, we got the word on our shoulders type shit. 90% of the battle is mental. That is true. 10% is physical. That is true. But they more emotional. When you're more emotional, you're going to automatically have more problems when you're more emotional. You know what I'm saying? So it's a male picking up emotional emotional uh, traits. That life going to be way harder. Because they're going to meet males that don't, it's not emotional. And they're going to tell them about themselves. Bus. This shit bus, bro. My brother's spitting game. I listen to him, man. This shit bus. That shit falling off the taco shell, nigga. You know what I'm saying? This shit so good. I ain't had this. <laughs> bro, I ain't had this in so long, bro. I'm so happy you had this. I had I had to cut these off, dude. I had to cut these <laughs> off for a little minute, bro. You just going crazy on the beach, Rupert? Bro, these bitches are so good, bro. I remember like a whole week, man. Mom brought, brought me two of these every day. <laughs> I had I said, nah, mom, I can't, I can't even do it, man. I, I can't. <laughs> These is too good. I know these ain't good for me, but they too damn good, bro. That guilty pleasure, bro. That's how I am. That's how I am with Wingstop and shit, man. That's how I am when I am when I am outside of food, man. It's like guilty pleasure. <laughs> it's like fucking because a nigga deserve it, bro. When you work hard, bro, you deserve it. Bro. Real shit, bro. When you work hard, you deserve it. You know niggas tell you shit. All I do is grind, nigga. Niggas think I'm I'm stoic, bro. All I listen to is niggas like Andrew Tate, Stepper's Code. I'm stoic as fuck, bro. I listen to Solo 92. Mm -hmm. I'm mad stoic, bro. <laughs> like, I, I can't give a fuck. You can't give a fuck about that nigga's world. You <laughs> can't, bro. And then, like, bro, say that. Look my niggas, bro. Like, I listen to them niggas all day, bro. But you gotta listen to niggas that know what they're talking about. They already been through what we gonna do right now. You know what I'm saying? So, so they like, know. Stepper's Code, that nigga said, you can't give a fuck. <laughs> That's cold as hell. I think that's how he started the video too. He's like, you can't get fucked. Mm -hmm. That shit is cold, bro. Like I said, when y'all done, when y'all get that little Kai in that in the wrong space, y'all gonna be watching niggas like Steph is cold, bro. MJ Get Right, Brandy Carpenter, all them niggas. Avery B second channel. Like y'all gonna be watching all them niggas, bro. Yeah. Like, cause it's like you going you gonna get distracted by all the entertainment. Don't get me wrong, these niggas are very entertaining, bro. But you, that shit. It's a fat ass loophole that you're gonna be stuck for years, months of doing that and being entertained for that long. And you're gonna look up in your life and it's like a whole bunch of just bullshit gonna be happening because you're getting older, bro. So you can't just be sitting around all day all long. When you get older, there's gonna be a whole bunch of bullshit that's gonna start to happen to you, bro. And it's like, fuck, damn. That shit hitting you, huh? That's your birthday. Damn. <laughs> Basically, what he's saying is, nigga, <laughs> you can't fall into no loopholes, especially if you grown. I don't care if you're a male or a dude watching this. If you're a male or a dude watching this, you... Man, what the
the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck about, was nigga? that? I'm sorry, man. I wasn't man. thinking about you it. Always it. Doing I always wanted it. I should have said, like, Burke. You can't fall into no loopholes as a as a person, bro. You got to continue doing your life. You can't stop and try to figure out what somebody else doing in their life. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what you said. You can watch them here and there every night. Okay, but you grinding. You know, in the daytime, mm -hmm. you grinding, you working. You can watch them every night. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But don't be sitting there stuck, not doing nothing in your mom's basement, sitting there watching these niggas all day. They're expecting them to care about you when they got millions of people just like you and they don't know who you is. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's just not no disrespect. Because then what happens when that true. loophole, because that, that shit happened to me, bro. That loophole of just like being distracted all the time. Mm hmm. That shit will blind you from the world, and then you gonna have to, like David, like my brother just said, you gonna have to look up to the niggas like Steph, Andrew Tate, whoever, you know, them, them, them niggas that tell you about life, like real life, bro. Mm -hmm. Niggas that tell you about real life because you've been distracted from real life for so long, you don't even know what the hell. When it hits you, you gonna be like, whoa. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I'm saying, bro. You gotta, you gotta get out of that. Yep. Self improvement gonna be the biggest thing in five years. I'll tell my brother this on the phone when he can tell you, he can confirm it. Self improvement gonna be the biggest thing in five years, bro. Cause a lot of yeah. young men gonna go up quick. Yeah. They gonna life gonna throw them a loop for bro, real. Like, like we just said, the way the internet is, it's full of entertainment, and niggas is is very distracted right now. So, very. In five years, and niggas is fifteen right now. So mm -hmm. in like five years, niggas start getting real life, smacking the damn face. Yep. My fault. I'm going to start to understand. Mm-hmm. It might be the worst. This is so good, bro. Oh, my God. Shit. Oh, my God. If you take care of yourself right now and you grown, it's going to be the worst five years of your life. It's going to be real bad for you, bro. And I don't care if nobody said you can take care of yourself and focus on yourself working at 9 to 5. There's no excuse. Well, I got to have the time to do this. No, you don't, bro. You don't. You work 40 hours a week, my nigga. What is you doing for the other 20 hours that you got off? You sleeping all day? You sitting in your ass all day? You not going to the gym? You slacking? Yep. You struggling because you don't want to go door dash? And you just want to sit in your ass and complain that you got another job already? Like, life is not fair to nobody, bro. <coughs> Hell, man. That shit. That shit hit. Life hit everybody equal. Everybody. Even though no matter if you born rich or broke, bro, that shit that life, shit is like pinch with it's everybody equally the same. Nigga, that's like one of the main shit. Niggas cannot forget about. I swear, but that's that's real shit. That's real shit too. It's one thing I can say. Well, we got our mentality from. Bro, my mom used to work four, three jobs, nigga, just to make sure we got everything we need. You know what I'm saying? So what the fuck I look like telling my mom? Well, I'm a sorry ass nigga, mom. I can't help you out. I can't give you the hundred dollars when you need it. I can't give you this. I can't pay your bills when you really need me the most. What do I look like, bro? Look, I look like a fucking ungrateful bastard because I am, nigga. If I'm, if I, if I'm so, if I can't go out, get out there and get out my comfort zone to work on myself as a male and help provide for my family whenever they need, I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm a, I'm a disgrace. To be honest with you, that's the harsh truth. I'm a disgrace. I'm a waste of sperm. I'm, I'm gonna be a hundred with you. I am. I can't provide for my people when they need me the most. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta, bro, you gotta realize, bro, like, life is not fair, bro. And you get put in certain positions without you knowing. Like, your mom stressing to take care of your, you and your siblings, bro. You have to do something, bro. I don't care if you got two, I don't care if you gotta get three, three nine to five jobs, my nigga. You gotta do something to help. You gotta sacrifice. You gotta sacrifice. You gotta sacrifice your pain, sweat, and tears. Literally, you have to. If you don't, you'll be fucked. I'm being real shit, bro. You gotta sacrifice your pain, sweat, and tears, nigga. Care about you, dude. Everybody has to go. My brother could tell you from his perspective, and I can tell you from my perspective. It's going to sound different, but it's going to be the same message. You just have to work on yourself, bro. I don't care. I don't care right now if you're working at McDonald's. I don't care if you're working at Wings. I don't care if you babysit like how I'm doing right now. I don't care what you're doing. Hustle, bro. Try to get a dollar. I'm not saying do anything for a dollar. Try to get a dollar the legal way. You know what I'm saying? You always got to turn to yeah, that. Yeah, I'm out here trying to. Kind of <laughs> you need some perks. <laughs> Don't do that shit, bro. Nah, don't, don't, don't do that, bro. I, I pray and hope y'all don't get to that life, bro. Cause you can't. If you are doing that, do that shit strictly for your family. Yo, your family. Take care of your family. Drive here, do that shit strictly for your kid. Do not be doing any crashing out and shit. Don't be doing all that shit, bro. And I don't blame these that sell drugs. I'm gonna tell y'all why. My perspective. 
I'm not against nobody in this world. I don't blame you for not. I'm not. I don't blame you for selling drugs, bro. Because look, who the fuck wanna work at a job for the rest of the life? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially if you ain't got no future, and you just you just doing something. You just doing that for right now, just trying to get your money up. You know what I'm saying? You get hella money or whatever, and you might fuck around, open up a restaurant. You might fuck around, do whatever. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? I don't blame him, bro. Because I do not want to work no job either, nigga. And I can say that. I heard others say you're disgrace if you do this and that, but nigga, you not perfect. You not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not perfect, G. Life is just life, bro. You never know. They probably got, they got probably got forged into that lifestyle, bro. So you can't judge nobody. You probably had no choice, nigga. He probably was like 12 years old, and his mama on his own, or his mama can't can't support them. He had to go out there and support for his siblings. You never know, bro. Some people get forged into that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Have no choice at all. You know what I'm saying? You can't get no fucking job at 12. What job can you get at 12? You can't get no job at no 12 years old, bro. You can't. What you gonna do? Cut grass? That's only gonna last you the summer. Y'all gotta eat through the winter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you gotta look at that in that perspective, bro. <sighs> Alright, bro. That's pretty much the end of this video. Bro, he he finished enough. He came ahead. Shit. I'm done. I'm I'm already done. Y'all see me? I'm sipping my water and shit. I tell you guys, hey, work hard so you can eat good. Work hard so you can eat good. That is, that's, that's all it is. <laughs> that's all it is too, nigga. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I want to do, nigga. Do whatever I want. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Have fun, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all live life, man. Let life, life. I mean, you just you get to take. Control back over your life, man. Keep a positive mindset. Like I said, your demons are always gonna attack you. Don't worry about that shit, bro. Don't worry, bro. Let that shit blow out the window. Your demons are always gonna attack you. Let that shit blow out the window. Keep a positive mindset. Positive shit will happen to you. Like it's guaranteed to happen to you. So keep a positive mindset. And you're gonna be straight, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mean, go ahead and end up the video, bro. Oh, that they tired of my my outro, nigga. All right, y'all. That's it, man. Listen. Hey, but man with my bro, you know what I'm saying? It's been some real game, bro. That's it, guys. Diet Coke. That's tough! <laughs> Juice makes out peace. Peace.